Welcome to another DIY project. This time I am going to show you how to build a wooden snow plow. Be warned, you will get a lot of attentions from your neighbors. You need a vehicle with at least a class 3 back hitch because you are driving it backwards. It's good to have a backup camera. I want to say you do not need a pickup truck for this. Any SUV with decent power will do. As you know, my Honda Ridge Line is actually a Honda Pilot with a bed. When I started this project, I did not take any video at that time, so bear with me for a moment. I got some pressure treated wood and a piece of plywood from the local hardware store. Then I got this rubber floor mat from Canadian Tire and cut it in half. This goes to the bottom of the plow so that it will not damage the driveway. I used 2x6 for the main support for the plow. That is going to attach to the 4x4 with carriage bolts. To make it look like a plow, there are two parts, one at the top and one at the bottom. I secure them using a metal plate and bolts. Now for the plow to get to the right angle and with the right height, I bought this adjustable ball mount from Amazon. It's around $20 US or $35 Canadian. Because the hitch pin is 5'8 in size, you need to buy the drill bit for this. I bet you any money, most of the DIY people, including myself, don't have a 5'8 bit in the toolbox. The hitch adapter I got from Amazon takes the standard 5'8 pin. You need to drill a hole with the same size on the 2x4. As you see, I bought the 5'8 bolt just for that. If you use half an inch carriage bolt, technically it will work, but it will have too much space in there. Not a good idea, honestly. Depends on the ground clearance of your vehicle, you secure it to the adapter based on the height. To make the plow more stable, I decided to cut some wood for better support. I also installed the skeet shoes on the edge of the plow. They look ugly, but it's okay. Finally, applied a coat of waterproofing and we are good to go. It worked pretty good for such a light snow. The plow was broken after several tests. As I expected, the weakest point of this design is the 2x4 where it connects to the metal bolt. To fix this, I am removing the damaged 2x4 and replace with the new ones. Then we will use the metal plate for reinforcement. Because the metal we are using is 1 8 of an inch in thickness. We are going to rip 1 8 of an inch off the 2x4 using a table saw. Alright, version 2.0 with metal plate reinforcement is completed. Now we are waiting for the snowstorm to come.
improvement doesn't stop right there. I am making a version 3.0 with multiple plow using a 12 volt winch. To pull this off, I need to do some welding, unfortunately. This Lincoln 140 makes it very easy for DIY people. Aircraft cable is very strong. I am using this crimper I bought from a local farming supply store. I am pretty sure you can find it on Amazon. Next, we are connecting to this lithium ion battery booster. I have used this device to save a lot of people from dead battery in the parking lot. To use this device on the winch, you have to manually overwrite the device. Got this quick connector from Amazon. They are okay. This is the complete system. I make every part removable for easy storage and, of course, to set it up. I will show you how easy it is to remove it for storage. That's the design. All you have to do is to pull the pin out and detach the winch. There are two of them you need to remove. Remove the pin from the receiver on the vehicle. There you go, it's done. This is the moment you have been waiting for.
hope you enjoy this DIY snowplow project. My goal is to inspire you to build a better snowplow. If you love this project, give it a thumbs up, and you may want to check out other videos on my channel. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.